What's poppin' guys, it is your boy Chris, and in today's video guys, we're going to be trying to find out the gravitational acceleration of a moving object using video anal analysis software. So, to do that, we're going to be using the tracker software, which you can find on Google by searching up uh, physics tracker. It should be the first one that pops up. If you guys can't find it, uh, I'm also going to be leaving the link in the description, just to make it easy for you guys. But yeah, so with that said, let's get started. Alright, so once you've opened the tracker software, what you want to do is... Go to your uh, open file chooser and then select the file of your choice. Then once your video is loaded in, uh, if the video is not in the right rotation, you can also change this by right clicking, go to filters, new, and go to um, a rotate. Then that'll be minus 90 for me. Right. Once you've done that, what you want to do is get the starting frame. This is very important because if you want to measure acceleration, what you want to know is, you want to know, um, so for the formula for acceleration is acceleration equals change in velocity divided by time so you want your time to be very accurate so you want to have your time to be starting at the exact point of when you drop the ball so mine is going to be 444 that's the starting frame for me all right nice and then you can add your scale in here like this you can put this anywhere you want really but it doesn't really matter i'm just gonna put mine there and then once you've done that you're gonna add your calibration stick so this is a known measurement uh, it doesn't have to be one meter you can change this but I measure one meter for me. So I did mine about here like this. That should be a little bit lower like that. There we go. And then what we're going to do is do the tracking here. So we're going to do point mass tracking. So to increase the accuracy, you want to zoom in. And then we're going to do shift cl left click onto your target. So you want to press the exact same place every time just to increase the accuracy. So I'm going to do the center of the ball is my point like this and the video is quite blurry but you can improve this by having a higher resolution such as 4k or 8k or higher and you can also increase the frame rate of your video I'm only recording at 60 frames per second because I don't want to record it higher because um, I don't know if the software could handle it but either way th those are ways you could increase the accuracy because the wall is quite blurry here, so I don't really know where the center of the wall is. Alright, nice. So you're going to do this all the way to the bottom until the ball bounces. Just making sure you're keeping it as accurate as you can. But honestly, I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, but either way, we want the best results as we can because we want the closest value, the true value. Uh, you can also change like, the mass of the ball. So mine would be 56, 56 grams, but well, you don't actually need this for this experiment because we're measuring acceleration, but it's good to know. And I'm going to go to your graph over here and change the y axis to your velocity component y, like this. And then you want to right, uh, right click and analyze. And then once you've done that, you want to um, measure the gradient. So the gradient is like almost linear, I guess. Um, the gradient should be equal to um, change in velocity divided by time, which is also your acceleration. So your gradient value should be your acceleration. So if we press analyze, curve, fit a line, and then we press this one, there we go. So our gradient is minus 9.5 uh, to 4, which is quite close to the actual true value. So the true value should be um, 9.81. And the reason this is our gradient value here because, is because A, uh, the parameter A is our gradient in this equation. So 9.52 is quite close. The reason why it's negative is because the ball is accelerating downwards. But yeah. Uh, minus 9.52 is quite close to the true value of, of 9.81. And the reason why it's not the exact value is because I wasn't completely accurate. And the measurement I did on the wall might not have been completely accurate either and also um, the exact time I dropped the ball wasn't a hundred percent like the exact frame but either way I've, I've done pretty decent here you know and I'm quite proud of my data you can also um, export your data to um, Excel if you just right click select all and then you can um, copy that content to your um, uh, Excel as formatted but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure you guys subscribe, smash the like button, and uh, tap that no notification bell. But yeah, 
I don't know why I'm saying this because I'm not, I'm not actually going to upload this to YouTube. It's just for my physics class. But if you guys enjoyed, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.